see a lot of stuff come across my workbench. And this right here by far is the worst wrench I've ever seen. Yeah. It's been in the ground so long until none of the threads that operate the bottom jar for it to go up and down even there anymore. The wheel that turns it for adjustment, the adjustment wheel, is completely fused in with the rest of the metal. There is a small indentation, a couple of them, that shows that there was at one time some threads. All of this stuff is completely fused together, and it's been many, many years since this actually went up and down and operated. Uh, this was a really cool wrench at one time, if you see either way that it's all twisted. Um, I have another wrench like this that I'm going to be restoring that's in better shape than this that, you know, that I can actually make it into a new looking wrench probably, but, then it, you know, but this one right here in particular is not looking good for this wrench, but, you know, we're going to call this video the impossible restoration because I really don't know what to say about this. Other than I'm going to soak it in some rust stuff and, uh, you know, maybe we can try to take a file and file enough grooves in it for the wheel to operate. But I would say probably with 95% certainty that it's going to actually be impossible. You know, it's just too far gone. It's actually, it's heavy and it's solid. There's no pieces falling off of it, but... Man, if you look at it, I'm going to hold it up so you can kind of see it. Get some better looks at it. Um, it's, it's really extremely pitted. And that's your wheel, your operator. <laughs> look at that right there. You can't tell where the wheel starts and where the frame stops or starts. It just looks like one solid piece of metal all the way across. You know, I can I can soak this for a day or two in some rust remover. I can hit it with a torch. We can soak it in vinegar. We'll throw everything that we got at it. You know, even even if I can even just get the bottom jaw to move or the wheel to turn at all, it's still not going to be a practical, usable tool probably. But give it a shot and see what happens you know give it the best shot and if I can pull this one off then I'll be like <laughs> I don't anyway this is what we got this is the, this came in today with a whole box of other wrenches and stuff like that and uh, I got this because it looks it looks to be impossible so and if it's not possible, then I'm not going to not upload the video. I'm still going to upload it to, just to show that, you know, sometimes if you attempt something like this and it doesn't happen for you, you know, that's life. That's the way it works out. It's just, it's going to be that way. It's just not anything that you can do with it. But either way, if I do get it to work, great. If I don't, then... I'll just shine it up and it'll be a, 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 at least it still has a striking edge on it so you can use it for a hammer. <laughs> it is, it's got a hammer on it. That's what that is right there. It's a hammer head. So, um, so if it, 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 if it can't be a wrench hammer, it'll just be a, rent, a hammer. So it'll only be, um, it'll only be half of what it was one time. You know, it's a shame that that stuff like this gets neglected and you know something that old with that kind of history you can only imagine looking back in time and seeing this sitting in a forge with this all red hot and the blacksmith tools twisting this metal around like that you know it's not completely uncommon to find these but i've seen a lot of them and this is the worst one i've ever seen so not going to say anything else. The rest of the video is just going to be a fast forward version of what, of, of every attempt possible of what it, you know, of what I can do with this. So we'll see.
Thank you. 